Having good video quality is pretty much essential to grow on any social media out there, so that is why I'm today going to be going through the best recording settings on OBS so you can start the recording with the best settings as possible. So if you do find anything here in this video helpful, remember to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel with the bell notifications on to not miss a single video from me because I make tutorials and videos just like this one all the time, so you know, why not just hit that little subscribe button with the bell notifications on. But with that said, let's get straight into the video. So here we are at OBS, and f first off, you obviously want to click on settings, and well, this will take you to the settings of OBS. And at the general, at the general tab, you can you know change the language, and please change the theme to dark. Please do that. Um, but anyways, the tab or the section that you actually want to take a look at now is the output tab. Now, when you come here, there there should be four different different sections over here: streaming, recording audio and replay buffer now hit recording and if you don't see anything then make sure that the output mode is set to advanced and that is that it basically is not set to simple because if you have it on simple it will look like this but anyways once you have come to the recording tab what you want to do is change first off you want to change the recording format if you haven't already um so basically you want to have it on mp4 because that is well essentially the standard format for video recording so if you have it on any, if you have it on something else then make sure that you that, that you change it to mp4 now the encoder here this is where stuff are happening this is actually very very important so there as you can see here if we click on encoder there are two different options nvidia nvenc h264 new and x264 so i'm going to explain what the what these both are and which one you should use okay so in your computer we have your CPU and your GPU and both these can be used as in as encoders to stream and record and everything and the x264 uses your mainly your CPU to encode and you know render your stream why or and recording of course um, but when if you have an Nvidia card you actually have an extra encoder so if you are recording with the Nvidia NVENC H264 you will have three different encoders and OBS will actually put some of this some of this uh, encoding stuff into the extra encoder that Nvidia has made pre-made inside of your Nvidia uh, card it doesn't matter which one it is GTX GTX RTX it should have an NVENC card in it so if you do so uh, if you have the NV NVENC option definitely check it because then then your recording will run much 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 smoothly because then you have three different types of uh, places in your computer that can process your stream or process your recordings so that was the encoder explained now if we take a look down here at the rate control you want to check or, or which one you have and you want to make sure that you have the CBR rate control. Now, just trust me on this one. You, your stream will be much better if you have CBR and your bit rate. Have this on 16,000. Now, there is some a little confusion between the bit rate on recording and streaming because on streaming you want to have it on maximum of 6,000, I believe. Because if you go over 6,000 uh, bit rate, then your stream uh, its quality will be downscaled. At least if you stream on Twitch. Um, so, but in, on recordings, it doesn't matter. You can have it on 16,000 as maximum. Of course, this this depends on your your internet connection and stuff. But if if you have a pretty decent internet connection, then you can have it on 16,000 bit rate. Keyframe intervals in seconds have it on zero. And here the presets. This is all depending on what PC or what GPU you have. So, if I'd say if you have a pretty high-end PC with, let, let's say that you have a 20 series RTX card, then you definitely should go with the max quality because you want to strive for a very good quality on your video. If um, because that will just make the viewer experience much, much, much better. But if you have an older card, like let's say a 10 series card or just another another card that isn't as high end as these these big and and expensive ones, then you can then basically change the presets to quality or even performance, but definitely do not go underneath their performance because then your stream won't look good to be honest so 
So preferably quality if you can't have max quality, um, but you can also scale it down to performance. But I'm gonna have quality because I have a 1060 and it and it actually can handle less. Profile always have this on high. It may all make your stream look better, uh, and and also have the look ahead and psycho visual tuning checked. But have both both these checked. GPU zero and max B frames. Two. Now, of course, I'm not gonna explain what all these settings do. So you you just gotta trust me on these this one, um, because it, basically, if I would explain every single setting, then this video probably would be like 15 minutes or even 20 minutes. Um, but when you have it, when you're done with the recording tab, what you want to take a look at is the video section over here, and from here you can uh, there uh, the base canvas never change this always have it on 1920 times 1080 but the output scale resol resolution if you if if you basically test record or something and you feel like hey i don't get uh, that the fps i want to or whatever um then you can act actually change your resolution on your video to uh, either 900p or well 900 pixels or 7 720 pixels pre preferably 900 pixels if you're gonna scale down because this is this is well essentially uh, less pixels that your computer has to handle and the well basically then your computer has more has more power to render stuff on your game than these extra 180 pixels for example so to get 900 900p instead of 1080 um, you can just type in here 1600 times 900 as you saw there um, but you can also have it on 1080 it doesn't really matter the downscale filter have it on length so if if you can handle it of course but if you because this will make so your your recording will just you just look very very good so so you should have it on length so if possible but if you can't uh, if you if you want to experiment if your computer can handle it then you can scale it down to by cubic then you may see a slight difference on the quality on your of your video um, but you but you will basically be able to play your game with a bit more frames and such but I'm gonna have it on Langsos because that because, because as, as I said that that is what you want to have if your computer can handle it the uh, common FPS values you want to obviously select common FPS values over here and then select whatever FPS you want. If you make videos just like I am making right now, or gaming videos, um, then have it on 60. But if you, you know, do real-time videos or stuff like that, then you can change them to whatever preference you have. Um, but I'm gonna have it on 60, as I said. And there is one last section that I'm gonna go through today for to make your recording fo uh, recording quality even better. That is the advanced tab or, or the advanced section. Now here we have the pro process priority. Now I'm gonna explain what it is and how you can how this can actually make so your your recording quality will be even better. So the process priority is basically what you want to, oh, your OBS to prior prioritize first. So for example, you can make so your OBS prioritizes your stream quality to encode it um, before your actual game or prioritizes even more. Um, so that is basically what you want to do if you experience that your that your stream doesn't run well and you get these like encoding messages that OBS cannot handle or a computer cannot handle to encode the stream. So if you get those type of messages or your stream just generally ju doesn't run well then change your process priority from normal which is the default one to above normal N never have it on high because then your game performance won't be good at all honestly um then you will see a significant change in your fps values and such um so above normal uh have it on above normal to get a, a a performance boost on your stream. A render have it on Direct 3D 11. That's the only option. So obviously have it have that checked. Color format NV 12. Color space 7. Oh, 09 and then the color range i think i believe the uh, the default or the 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 default setting is parch partial um but he, but you, you definitely want to have this on full because that will just makes a, a have a, make the color experience much much better in your recording so have it on full and then basically when you are done with all these settings hit apply and click on okay 
Now, then you, what I su I suggest that you do is take take some test recordings and it, when you when you may, maybe play play a game or maybe do just do a video scenario when you maybe are play, playing a game as I said or something like that. Just test out these settings and see if they actually work or something. But if something didn't work, then uh, and you still still get performance issues uh, it, or problems when recording, then make sure you drop a comment down below and I will try to help you out. If you find anything in this video helpful, remember to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel with the bull notifications on so you don't miss a single video from me. That would mean very much. With that said, see you next video. Storix uh, out.